on, old fro. Thanks a bunch, you awful. Why didn't you hit them? They hit me first. Come on. What did you do to make them so angry? Nothing. Anyway, you should have hit them. I said you would. Awful, I object to being used as your secret weapon. What now? We seem to have somebody's goon. He just walked in and sat down. Look, I, I don't know who you are, but... He said he's from Archer, whoever that is. We don't know anyone called Archer. Your dad does. He does? Look, just make him go, will you? Make this smelly thing go. I want my tea. I want my tea. Yes, yeah, shut up. Shut <gasps> Oh, no. The screen that clears buses. Wait for it. <whistles> Say shut up. I think you've got the wrong house. Your dad, Quentin Sykes. Yes. Writes books and things. Yes. Told her. Is the end with some... Payment. Payment. Payment? Howard, phone the police. Wouldn't do that if I were you. Really wouldn't. Pay Archer, no trouble. Don't pay, got trouble, got me. I'll put the kettle on. Like it here? Get him out before Mum comes. Dad won't be home for ages. Don't mind waiting. Teacher's late. At the poly. Yeah. Look, why don't I take you there? You get him. Me and the little girl will stay here. Teach us some manners. I why don't we all go? All go!
know where you live. to know what you've read, I want to know what you think. What does Maisie Potter think? Uh, my thoughts are in here somewhere, Mr Sykes. You see, I hadn't quite finished. Ow! I think you have now, Maisie. Quentin Sykes! I am a Quentin Sykes. Yes, well, I think that just about wraps things up for today, class. Next week, we will hear Miss Potter's thoughts. And the rest of you had better mug things up to keep up with her. Hello, Maisie. Make him let me go! Payment overdue, Sykes. Archer wants his 2,000. Dad, now, what is he... Now, you about this, Howard. Obviously, there's been some mistake. My payment isn't overdue at all. In fact, it was paid in full, on the dot, only a few days ago, as my student lodger here will confirm. You remember, Fifi, that big brown envelope I asked you to deliver to the town hall? Archer didn't get it! Well, I'm not surprised. I don't know any Archer. The person I deal with is Mountjoy. Mountjoy only million. Goes to Archer in the end, and Archer didn't get it. Well, I sent it. Maybe it was a day or two late. Mountjoy never worries too much about that, just so long as it's the full 2,000. 2,000 pounds, Dad! No words. 2,000 words. Words? This is ridiculous. Well, it is. All this fuss about words. And Archer didn't get them. Well, ask Mountjoy what he did with them. You ask him! Extension 609, please. Ah, Mountjoy. Quentin Sykes. Fine, fine. It's just a quick inquiry about this quarter's payments. Only someone sent round a hired assassin. Not killed anyone yet. Shut up. Sorry, my joy. No, uh, this goon. He says you haven't received my... Oh, I see. Yes. Fine. Right. Didn't get him, did he? Apparently not. But he's given me a week. Archer wants him now. Farms gas. Electric. Very powerful. Don't cross Archer. Well, why don't we just go home and I'll do Archer's words. Right? Right. What's going on, Howard? Search me. Why are you tired? 
typing in here. Make sure he keeps going. Who are you? Goon. I meant, what's your name? Goon will do. You see. Well, you look strong. There's some drums in my car. Perhaps you could help Howard bring them in before they get damp or stolen. I don't think she cares who he is as long as he's quiet. What's the matter with them? Just want a quiet life? That's not funny. Yes, it is. Howard, your mother wants you to lay the table. Go on. Where are we these? Oh, I'll show you. In here. What? Lay for six. Keeping my eye on him. Dad. Dad, I don't believe this. We're actually giving it supper. Well, when a wolf follows your sleigh, it's always wisest to give it meat. Well, I'm not eating with him. He smells. Dumb. Yes, you do. Howard, take your father something. I told you. Let sights finish. Then eat. Where are you going? Music practice. Mum insists. Clean her teeth, eventually. Done. Oh, there you are. Finished? Yes. Same as last lot? More or less. Is that it, then? Is he going? Oh, yes. He's going. Back to Archer. Really? See ya. Now will you tell us what it was all about? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all, really. Mountjoy's idea of a joke, that's all. Quentin, that won't do. But I don't know any archer. I keep telling you. <clears throat> Make us a cup of tea, awful. The only one I know is Mountjoy. This was all his idea to cure my writer's block. Or for tea with milk, not curry, vinegar, or mustard. Ah, oh, Dad. What's writer's block anyway? It's terrible. You don't have an idea in your head, or if you do, you can't get it down on paper. And if you can, it goes all small and boring. Quentin, Mountjoy. Oh, yes. It's a good chap. I met him fishing, before we had Howard. Deadline, Quentin. That's all you need. And he suggested 
a deadline of a most peculiar sort. I should write him 2,000 words a quarter, anything that was in my head, and deliver it to him personally at the town hall. Think about it. Ring me. And if I can't? Well, imagine that if you can't, I somehow have the power to cut off all services to your house. Gas, electricity, etc. Make yourself frightened enough. You'll deliver. And funnily enough, it worked. I cured the writer's block. The girl said Archer found power. Why did you carry on? What? Doing the words all these years. Oh, I don't know. A sort of talisman, I suppose. What's happened to this? The goo did it. But, th Dad, what are the words about? Oh, complete rubbish, mostly. What might happen if rabbits ate meat or if old ladies rioted in Corn Street? Is that a V or a Y? <laughs> or an A for Archer, upside down. Yes, but why all the terror tactics? No idea. Well, just make sure you deliver the words in future. You don't want Archer sending around any more goons. <laughs> <laughs> traffic making them vibrate. Oh, they've got very sensitive ears. They're playing themselves. They're going to touch them last. Almost didn't notice. Last night's words, no good. Great, who's Archer sending round this time? The secret police. Tell your things about Archer and the others. I don't want to know. Go away. Like me, really, don't you? No, just looking at you makes me feel sick. Scared of me? Yes, and now I suppose you're going to make more trouble for Dad. Take you to see Archer. The one I want to see is Mountjoy. You do? Yes. Uh, Mr. Maltroy doesn't see casual callers. Perhaps you'd like to make an appointment. Extension 609. Education department. Where? I'm not telling you. Don't matter. Soon find it. How dare you? Come back here at once. Maltroy. 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 Dickens, do you want? Howard Sykes. Son of Quentin. Ah. Mr. Mountjoy, is everything all right? I'm fine, fine. No problem, absolutely no problem here. Everything's under control. Now then, young man, what can I do for you? These words you make my dad write. What are they for? To stop him drying up. Not true. No, it isn't. You're up to something. Who's this archer you passed them on to? A superior of mine. The Lord Mayor, I suppose. Well, not exactly, Howard, no. Then who? Well, tell him. Tell him. Very well. But I don't know very much. I've no idea what archer wants with the wretched words. 
I don't even know if it's Archer I send them to. It could be any of them. Any of who? Any of the seven people who really run this town. Run it? It's quite a mob. Archer's one. The others are Dillian, Venturus, Torquil, Erskine, and, uh, oh yes, Hathaway and Shine. All the same family. How do you know? Well, I made it my business to find out. Wouldn't you, if one of them made you do something so peculiar for them? Peculiar's right. So how do you send these words to whoever it is? I send them to a post office box number. But who collects them from there, I really can't say. But how did... Backstairs! Left. Dillian nearly got us. Dillian? Farms law and order, Dillian. Frightening you? The world just went mad. Why should I be frightened? Yeah.